Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. We're going to start out today by sorting out our court because, well, it's something that we need to do. We've got four family members who are currently unmarried, so it kind of seems like the thing that we should start with. We're also going to say no to doing all of these. Before we get into it though, there was a question from the comments. Now the question was on episode 3 and this is now episode 138, 9, something like that. But Here's the answer to your question if you're still watching after 130 episodes and haven't figured it out. Somebody was asking, how do I open up this screen, the character finder? You press C, or you go to find character. There you go. That's how you do that. Anyway, um, let's start by sorting out our court. Uh, just thinking of how best to do this. Uh, I guess we just go uh, in here and then we'll do courtiers. And then we'll do, actually, let's do unmarried courtiers, that's, that makes sense. And then we'll just marry them off. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to start with my dynasty. Let's give my dynasty the best uh, marriages. Right. And let's get these guys married. So, Roggenwalder, my uh, grandson. He is robust and a genius. So we're kind of looking for somebody who has inheritable traits, who is not a ruler, and... Ideally, we kind of want them to be geniuses. So let's see who we got. We only got 84 characters on this list. How hard could it be? How about you? You are you are Oster, but you look like you're from a faraway line. Yeah, that works. So we've got genius guaranteed, and we got chance of leveling up robust. Pretty much perfect. All right, next, Matilda. Matilda's 51, so she's not going to have any children. So, let's have a little look at prowess. Uh, they don't have to be a genius. And let's just see what we're looking at here. This guy seems fine. Let's get the marriage done. Next, we have Nushin. Also unlikely to have children. Not impossible, but unlikely. Uh, so let's maybe go with this guy. He's intelligent. She's intelligent. That seems like a good match. He's got 31 prowess. Wonderful. It's medium chance of children, but it's not many years of that medium chance. So, send that one out. Next up, we have Najal. Najal is a genius, Herculean, and beautiful. So, we would actually like double traits on him if we could. Let's go for genius and see what we got. 85 characters. Okay. Then, maybe we'll do Herculean, which is actually Amazonian. Okay. Just out of curiosity, is there anyone who's uh, beautiful, if I spell it somewhat correctly, which I didn't? Yeah, there is my granddaughter, Rasa. Okay, so that would be grandchildren marrying. Um, I could be alright. How do I feel about that? 20% chance being inbred. It's only a 20% chance, and, you know, the children who do get out of it without being inbred are going to be fantastic. So, let's go with that. Yep, we're happy with that one. Right. Holden Frither. You need to marry. Uh, we'll take away some of these. Uh, you are her you are uh, Amazonian. Let's maybe go prowess here for just for a second and to see who we got. How about this guy? You are from the Oster dynasty, but you're far enough away that you're probably not going to be uh, inbred. Yeah, fantastic. Let's send that one off. And then we have, um, yeah, then we have Clavis. Clavis here, let's uh, marry him off as well. So, genius. It's genius, robust, and beautiful. Let's see what we got. We got this person who is a genius and beautiful. Perfect. Let's marry them off. And then that is that. Right, now time to deal with all the members who are unmarried of our court who are not of our dynasty. So let's just do not uh, dynasty for now. So we have you, courtier. You've got nothing special going on. You are a military engineer, so we're going to keep you for now. Uh, let's marry you to somebody. I see, are there any shield maidens we can marry you to? Just out of curiosity. Shield Maiden, who is not my granddaughter. Um, are you about to marry someone else? I don't think so. Yeah, let's get you into my court. There we go. Cool. We have a Shield Maiden in our court. Next, we have you. Don't need you. And we have this person. 
they have no reason to be in our court at all. Let's take out Shield Maiden, because obviously there are none. Then we're going to look for a ruler. And we're just going to take you out of the court by doing that. Non-matrilineal, send you off. Right. Next up, we have Kari, who is a courtier. Uh, he is good enough to be a knight, so you can stay. So we want to go uh, not a ruler. And then we'll do a little Shield Maiden check here as well. That's fine, Shield Maiden. Uh, the only person who could marry is my granddaughter, and that's because we would uh, be the ones proposing the marriage. That's fine. Okay, inheritable traits. Um, I don't know, let's just sort by a trait and then just marry you off. There you go. Right, that's fine. Next up, we have Stagut. You're okay. Can't dismiss this guy. Keep going down here. Ajay. Um... You're just good enough to stay, I think. Uh, let's just pick another stat. You can marry this person. That's fine. Um, who is next? Ata, you are not good enough to stay. I'm looking at this prowess number, by the way, when I'm saying good enough to stay. If they have enough prowess that they could be a knight, they can stay. If not, I'm getting rid of them. And, I mean, you can't be one anyway because you're not a shield maiden and you have no inheritable traits. So, there we go. See ya. Next up is Greer. Is also on the just good enough to stay list. So we'll go not a ruler. So just choose one of these and then just marry you off. Yep, so you're going to come to my court now. That's fine. Next up. That was you. Now we have Elamir. Uh, again, we're just going to pick one of these. And then we're just going to marry you off. I'm actually not going to marry you to the older one. I'm going to marry you to the younger one. So that there's more chance of children. And then we have Anund, who is our man. And Dara, who is not good enough. So you are going to marry a ruler. Like this guy. See you later. Right, and now we unpause. Wonderful. Right. That'll sort out our court. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Kill them. It's, uh... Yep, another 900 gold. Uh, wet nurse was caught and named me the murderer. Well, that isn't ideal. Minus 15 opin uh, general opinion with everyone. And we gained some stress. Yeah, that's not ideal. However... We have sorted out some things here. Now, this guy probably doesn't like us because we oh, murdered his family, but he does like us at 100. That's fine. Any chance you could uh, have some children at some point? Uh, just a request from me here. Right, uh, we'll do a ransom. While we're here, I'm kind of thinking I might just murder you. Yeah, I think I'm going to murder you because you're the one who's been having all the children. So let's just get rid of you while we're here. Wonderful. Right, how did our marriages go? Did we sort out our court? Uh, one guest, three men. That's fine. Right. Now we're going to go to courtiers, and we're going to go for not my religion. Two of them to convert. I need to send you a little gift. I'll ask him to convert. Next one is you. Uh, you would say no, apparently, so let's send you a gift and ask you to convert. Uh, you're not going to say yes. I could imprison you, though. So I will imprison you. And we'll see how this goes. Right, we've now imprisoned you. Now, would you just, I don't know, happen to convert? No. Because you're reluctant to convert. Why? Oh, because you're zealous. I see. Okay. Banish you for 50 gold. I'm going to gain a... I can't, you won't even give me a hook on you? Reluctant to give hook. What's that? I, I don't know what causes you to be reluctant to give hook. Okay, well, I don't know. I guess you can be released. That's fine. Okay. That's okay. Just checking there. Let's see whether AJ converts. AJ did convert. Wonderful. Right. So now back to courtiers. Uh, what's the next one? Now we do children. So now we look for children. Uh, sort by age, go the other, well, let's go this way and just have a look. So, 
No guardian for my great grandson. Uh, we will find you a guardian. Your guardian is going to be a genius. You want to do an intrigue education. Throw that one out. Right. Next. Uh, we're going to you. You have a guardian. No guardian for my great grandson. He needs a learning education. Right. Next. You have a guardian. You have a guardian. You get the feeling we're getting into the territory where we've already sorted these ones, which we have. Wonderful. So right, now they all have guardians. So that's that. While we're doing our courtier sort out, let's do a direct vassals, not my religion. Just send a few gifts out here. So, Punjab, do you want to convert? Of course you do. That's wonderful. Right, you will not convert because I've already asked you to and you said no. This guy, I need to send him a gift. Will you convert? 59%. Okay, that's Persia. And then we have you and we've already asked you to convert. Okay, so we got one guaranteed 159%. Let's see. Okay, we got the 59, and of course we got the 100% as well. Nice. So that leaves us with these two. Now we do a vassals check sorted by rank, and there shouldn't be that many. There's only three, and we've already actually we've already asked some of them already, so that's fine. 100% on that guy. Uh, the other benefit about this, by the way, is that... Not only are you um, getting these people to convert so that they can convert the people underneath them, but on top of that, if there is a, a like revolt to put someone else in charge, they're probably going to be the people who are put in charge. So it makes sense to just make sure they're converted. Right. So that's sorted. I'm not going to do all these uh, counts because there's 63 of them and none of them are my direct vassal. So let's reset to default. And they are now done with that. Hold court. Yeah, we could hold court, but we'll do that in a second. My hook will soon expire on you. Okay. I changed your contract. Yes. All right. Well, I don't care then. Okay. Cool. Do we have a bombard? Yes. Wonderful. Okay. So that's that sorted now. Prisoners can be ransomed six. Continue ransoming prisoners. And then uh, I want to go to courtiers and just make sure we have all of these uh, high. Like good or above is what I'm looking for. And if they're not, I want to just check if we have anyone better. We won't necessarily have anyone better. I just want to check to see if we do. So this person, we have a good opposed to an average. I'll take that uh, change. Okay. So now we've done that. We want to close this and just fill in these other ones. So lady in waiting. Increases the amount of stress loss we get. That can be our granddaughter. Court tutor. That can be my grandson. Food taster. That can be my grandson. Master of the horse. That can be my grandson. Uh, high almoner. That can be this person. And then cup bearer. That can be... I don't know. I was trying to see if there was a member of my family. But I guess if not, we'll go with you. Wonderful. Right. So that sort of sorted that out. Uh, any of these need upgrading? Yes. Yes, we do have some of these that need upgrading. Pikemen. And on top of that, Armored Horseman. And on top of that, this. Wait a second. Did we get the thing last time that gave us the extra men at arms regiment? Uh, we did, didn't we? Yeah, we got Standing Army. Okay. I'm just going to upgrade as many of these as I can. And then that'll probably do for now. Yeah, we're one off upgrading all that. We're nine gold off. Okay. Summon the physician. Thank you for the 79 gold. I needed that. Radical action. Oh, I am shocked that you would suggest that. Right. Uh, upgrade that to max. We still have another men at arms regimen that we need to get, but that's okay. Um, we will probably hold court in a second uh, as well. And that might give us an opportunity for money. Okay, uh, Mass Ransom. Keep trying to get more money. Okay, so. Uh, hold court. A call to war. Our brother, King, 
Secundoto currently sits on the throne of Venice, but I am the true and rightful ruler of these lands. If you aid me in pressing my claim, I shall swear fealty to you, serve you loyally until the end of my days. This is Princess Eugenia of Venice. Secundoto of uh, the second of Venice is currently uh, in charge. Alright. Uh, I have to check something here with his age. Um, okay. What I was checking was I was checking whether he was the second child. Just, I, I, I was just curious with his name. Yeah, I'll go to war with you for Ven. I'll, I'll go to war for, uh, with this guy for Venice. Sure, why not? It's also at war. With, he's attacking the Holy Roman Empire in the Italian de jure war in Turin, as a secondary. But that's okay. Is he allied with Italy? He is. Oh, who has forty three thousand strength? Oh, all right. Well, beautiful day for war. The end is nigh. Uh, I don't care. Old court, Hodna out of control. They're hanging us, they're hounding us. We, we could keep order. Please, we're here to organize ourselves without all the death. Um, we can go for excessive bloodshed. Or do what you can with this. Oh, let's say do what you can with this. We'll earn our money back in a second. Right. Uh, so we're now at War of Venice. That's okay. I guess I'll raise my troops in Sicily. That kind of makes sense to me. Right, uh, raise troops. I'll just raise all as well, because we probably need a few extra if they've got that, those kind of numbers. Uh, we now also need a new, um, I think that city stopped promoting Roman heritage, right? That's fine, yeah. Also, I want to upgrade that at some point. Um, we need a new husband. Uh, reset to defaults. We don't care about inheritable traits. All we care about is this stat. We don't even care if they're fertile. Literally, all we care about is this stat. I'm going to marry this guy. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, that seems good to me. Right. Go. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're not really worried about this. I could call in Britannia. We're also not worried about that. Okay. He accepted our hand in marriage. What's our stewardship now? 41. We get one more point, we can hold on to an extra bit of land. Not that we have an extra bit of land that we want currently, but if we got one more point, we could have it. And that's the important thing. Okay. Um, have we, are all these at max apart from the, yeah, I think all of those were at max apart from the one that we uh, don't have yet. Okay, 59,000, that'll do. Let's go, let's, let's, let's go risky. I'm gonna go straight for your capital. Right, I think that's the right move here. You've converted to late Norse, fantastic. Uh, anything else that we need to do? No. Also, just out of curiosity, because I haven't done it in a while, what, let's do a culture check. Okay, so we've got late Norse here and here and here and here. We've had all that for a while. Is there any other bits? There's a few bits around. Yeah, it's, it's not really spreading. It's not really catching anywhere else. It kind of caught a little bit in the low development areas, but otherwise it didn't really spread. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, okay. I do wonder whether the best way to spread is to merge cultures just constantly, but it does seem like you're setting yourself back each time you do it. Uh, we need a guardian for our grandson. Uh, okay, so... Probably you. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, cool. Right, go. I don't know what this army thinks it's doing. Oh, it's just sieging this bit of land. But it's going to take you... Yeah, it's going to take you seven years to siege. What are you thinking? That's just not going to work. That's why I was confused. I was like, what are they doing? Why are they not... Like, I was assuming what they were going to do is try and walk over here and siege. But they're just trying to siege these bits. But that's going to take... A, actually, this one's going to take them 27 days. You must have the uh, siege units. That makes more sense now. Yeah, so you have the siege units. Okay. Now it makes sense. <laughs> Before, it was just like, that doesn't make any sense at all. What? What's your plan? What's your end game? Hey, we befriended, or we've got close to befriending the uh, Holy Roman Emperor. However, we were, um, we are still feuding, apparently. I've been told. Right, we can grab this one. So Veniel gives you intimidated vassal tax contribution 10% and terrified 20%. We are currently from vassals making 481 and we're making 322. 
So if I click this, it should recalculate. We are now making 335 and we're making uh, 492 from Vassal. So a reasonable jump. Not an insane jump, but a reasonable amount extra. Oh yeah, ransom my prisoners. Continue ransoming the prisoners. Just went into the next war without finishing the ransoms from the previous war. That's fine. Uh, oh, I can't ransom anyone. Oh, in which case, um, demand conversion, demand conversion, demand conversion, demand conversion, demand conversion, demand conversion. There's a lot of people I need to click this on. Okay, next set. I know there are mods that can do this. I, I kind of have a, my, my, I don't have really have anything against mods. But the, the only reason why I don't tend to install them is that I tend to have these series that last a really long time. And mods tend to uh, like not like you patch in the game, essentially. So you end up in a situation where you can't play because the mod's not being updated, or you have to like turn it off and on again, and I'm just like, not really that much time to just click through these manually. Anyway. Obviously, by those mods, I'm not talking about, like, you know, the total conversion mods, because you wouldn't update the game anyway if you were playing total conversion mods, because they, they only work in a very specific version and don't tend to be compatible between updates, but anyway. Uh, that's fine. Clear out all of those. Yes, yes. Neighboring ruler lost a war. So, uh, you lost a war against uh, Yemen, my grandson, for a chiefdom. What land did you lose? So they lost this bit of land. So we're expanding further into uh, the Iberian Peninsula without really doing anything uh, there at all. We're just uh, yeah, let, letting our vassals loose and seeing what happens, essentially. Your realm will lose land if this person dies, will it? I don't think it will. You've recalculated there. That's the new land that we just got. I think it was just, uh, yeah, it was just correcting itself on. Okay, we're almost back to the boats, and now we're back to the boats, and now we're immediately just going back onto the land, seven days for the siege, and taking that one. Next piece of Venice land is here. Uh, do I just take the attrition hit? Yeah, I take the attrition hit to walk to the next piece of Venice land. If we siege it all, we get 100% war score, so we might as well do this. Uh, accomplished Forger, the thing we've been looking for all this time. Okay, so this allows me to now go to Bulgaria. And then I can have a look at your throne. And I should now be... Oh, do I have to do it on the person? I have to go to Bulgaria. And now I should be able to buy an artifact claim on the turquoise throne. It costs me 3,000 prestige, which is nothing, essentially. I'm going to buy the claim... So now I should be able to go into his royal court and I should be able to do something about this. Challenge him for a duel. There's a chance he accepts. Uh, base willingness, personality. Let me just see, does he like us? He still likes us at 100, so yeah, there's not really anything I can do to make that more likely. Yeah, I wanna uh, fight you for the throne. 65% chance that he says yes and we get it, so. Wonderful. Single combat versus us versus King Grimir. We have double his prowess. Uh, let's start with a, a no low here, which gives him a dual handicap, which lowers his prowess even further. Okay, my form is deteriorating. His is passable. Strike parry repost gives us high medium. Mine is decent. His is incredible. We can now use our uh, Shield Maiden one to increase our chances even further. Now we're excellent. Strike Parry Repost. He bested us? No. I must have bested him, right? Uh, yeah, I bested him. It was just an incorrect message. Okay. So we gain the Blade Master, some stuff in the Blade Master trait. We get Foot Experience, which is fine. Uh, and we have our armor decreased, but I believe we are now victorious. And does that give me... I become the owner of the turquoise throne. Fantastic. So now... We can just simply equip that. So throne. So we're going from Queen Drifa's throne, which is 3% monthly renown, to turquoise throne, which is 
Diplomacy per level of fame, stewardship per level of fame, 5% renown, and development growth in the realm capital. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We're now firmly in tw the 12 holdings category for uh, the amount of holdings we're allowed, because we're now at 46, so that's cool. We now have 58 diplomacy, which uh, I think was actually higher at one point. We must have had a temporary boost, which is worn off, but still, very, very good. Now, there are probably more artifacts for us to find um, around the place. We, we'll, uh, we'll see what we could do at some point. I, I'm not too worried about that. It's basically, a, if we see an artifact, we might take it kind of thing. But yeah, that one was way too good to give up. It was just a perfect opportunity to grab one. All right, head along here. They might try and fight us, but that would be great if they did. If they don't, then they're retreating and they're wasting their own time. Hello. Thank you for all of that stuff. Really appreciate it. Keep chasing them down. Wait, is there two? Oh, there's two things to uh, siege here. Okay. Head and siege the other one. Uh, this should be nice and quick. There we go. That's 100% war score. We will now enforce demands. This means that Princess Eugenia becomes my vassal. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. And then this person becomes her vassal. Right, enforce demands. Wonderful. So, we will now disband our army. We have now taken Venice. By the way, Venice, uh, just for FYI, you're now my religion. Thought you'd like to know that. Uh, cool. Primary heir is this person. I'm going to send him a gift. And I'm just going to ask that he also convert. Right, that's fine. Uh, what's this? Talk to confidant to lower my stress. Of course I'll talk to the confidant to lower my stress. Uh, we may want to do a very quick um, feast again. When can we do the next feast? Uh, two years. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was just a nice bit of free land that was sitting there, effectively. Gained arrival with Pomerania. I don't really know what I did to Pomerania, but okay. I've gained a rivalry with them. How are you doing? Uh, you're a little low on money. Uh, I don't really know how that happened, but here you go. Here's another 1,000 gold as I prop up your economy. That's fine. Okay, what? Is he losing money per month? No, he's gaining it. He's just... I uh, must be spending it or something. Okay, that's fine. Um... While we're talking about money, I just want to briefly check in here. Yes, yeah, so we can probably get another one of these. We could upgrade, we could get another Bombard to make our sieges even, even quicker. I feel like that's a little overkill. I don't know. What, what, what do we think we need? The two Varengian veterans. We could just get more uh, armored horsemen. I suppose that would make our army even better. Yeah, maybe i just go for another armored horseman. I think, I think that might be fine. Yeah, let's create another one of those. And then, uh... Yeah, upgrade it as much as I can. Okay, and then I'm going to station you... Here? Here seems good. Right. Uh, okay, cool. I'm going to continue upgrading that, but that's alright. Okay. Oh, also, while we're here, just before I forget... Modify Vassal Contract. Hi... Scootage, coinage rights. Wonderful. Uh, what is the negative, by the way, on our capital due to coinage rights? Just curious. Uh, the negative is... Negative 62%. Um, yeah, development growth. Okay, interesting. Yes, I'm going to kill you in the wilderness. Aha, we have killed them. You have another son. Your son is whose child? Someone else's child. Your son has consumption? Okay, well, uh, we'll see what happens with you there. You have any children yet? Nope. Okay, he also has consumption. I really hope he doesn't die. That would be awfully inconvenient for us, essentially. Okay. It's all right. Oh, yeah, we should uh, upgrade our legend. I should remember to do that. Two years till we can uh, complete it. So yeah, we should probably save some money for that as well. Okay. At some point. Uh, Lord of the Drylands. I can't note that something is missing here. 
Uh, get mystic mythical water. That seems pretty good. Sure, why not? Cool. Everyone believes me, and um, the legend now costs less to upgrade. How much does it cost to upgrade? Just out of curiosity, to upgrade it, it costs six hundred and something gold. Six hundred and seventy-six gold, I think it was. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's fine. We could always demand payments if I really, really want, you know. Uh, yeah, if I really, really want to get that uh, immediately. I mean, all we have to do is wait two days. Or not two days, two months. Yeah, two days. Even we're not earning quite that much money. That's fine. Okay, cool. You guys want to be my vassals? You do appear to now be newly independent. No? Okay. You? Uh, no. Okay. Thought I'd just check. Thought I'd check. Right. That's fine. Uh, that is now spreading very quickly. Cool. Right. Well, that seems like a good point to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.